Hey, Tom. Yeah? Quiz time. Okay. What are Newton's laws? There's three of them. Mm -hmm. One of them is force equals mass times acceleration. Yeah. Can you help me out with the other ones? I guess I can. Well, so the first law of Newton says that any object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by another force. Okay. What's the third one? The third one says for every action force, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Okay. Those seem simple. Yeah. So I was wondering if you could help me with one of my um, dynamics problems. Yeah. Show me what you got. So I have this box being pulled by a string with a force of 20 newtons. Okay. And I know that there's a force acting downward on the box, and that force is equal mass times acceleration. And we know that the mass of the box equals 5 kilograms, and we know that the acceleration due to gravity equals 9.81 meters per second squared. However, the way that I have this free body diagram written, the box should be falling. However, it's not falling. It's moving parallel to the surface. Have you considered the force that the surface acts onto the box? No, that's the normal force, of course. So that is the equal and opposite reaction of the force, which is equal to mass times acceleration. So it's 5 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. So the same value, just in the other direction. Exactly. Thank you so much. Okay. And now I have to figure out what the acceleration of this box is, and I'm not quite sure what to do next. Can't we use Newton's second law? Of course. Force equals mass times acceleration. So we know that the force that the box is that the string applies to the box equals 20 newtons and we know that the mass of the box is 5 kilograms and then if we just divide by 5 on both sides we get the acceleration equal to 4 meters per second squared. Looks like you understand it. Awesome. Thank you so much for your help. You're very welcome.